Now we're all feeling it high prices at the grocery store and every time that we think our food bills are leveling off it seems like something else becomes much more expensive. NBC Connecticut political reporter Mike Savino has more on what some lawmakers say that they want to do about it. After a report from the Federal Trade Commission suggested that major groceries chains raise their prices more than they had to, Democrats here in the Senate want to know if local stores were engaged in price gouging. All you got to do is spend five minutes outside a grocery store and ask every consumer coming out of that store whether they've seen prices come down, they'll probably tell you now. They're asking Attorney General William Tong to find out. Tong plans to send letters to all grocery chains in Connecticut for information on their pricing. You can't find a more important uh, uh, commodity than basic sustenance. The FTC report looked at nine grocery chains. The only two that operate in Connecticut are Walmart and Amazon, which owns Whole Foods. The report didn't include why prices jump so high, and grocers say it's not fair to conclude it's gouging. Pretty complex industry in terms of, you know, how grocers charge for their products. Um, manufacturers, suppliers, farmers, producers, you name it. Grocery stores say they have little control over their prices. If they did, they'd have a competitive advantage at keeping them low. Still, the head of the Connecticut Food Association is telling his members to comply with Tong's order. And those are the things that uh, we wish we had the opportunity uh, to talk to the AG and, and uh, Senate leadership about prior to having a press conference on this. Republicans also don't think price gouging is happening. Representative David Reticliano owns six restaurants, and he says everyone's feeling the squeeze. I certainly wouldn't be for a company taking advantage of people. What I'm saying is, is I think they're being slightly naive if they don't think government had a role in the inflationary environment that we're living in right now. Senate Democrats also want to expand the attorney general's powers around investigating price gouging so that he can also look at suppliers. This would match what New York and Massachusetts do. From the Capitol, Mike Savino, NBC Connecticut News.